If you're looking for a great starter pet, Karepe Tuatu e Te Kinikini. Guinea pigs or cavies, as they're also known. Tino piwari, paku paku, ngohe ngohe hoki. But like most animals, there's certain things that we need to know about them, even though they're really easy to look after. Nō reira, kei kona i tātou ki te tūtaki atu ki tētahi tangata tino ngākau nui ana ki inei mōkai. Should we go and see Mum, Jasmine? Hey, guys. Te kaumā whitu ngā tau o Hartley Holder, and she runs Auckland KV Care, a non-profit organisation that rescues and rehomes guinea pigs. Along with the 30-odd guinea pigs currently available for adoption, Hartley has six of her own. Oh, kia ora, Hartley. Pai te tsutaki ki a koe. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Before we start chatting, who have we got here? Gigi and Pluto. And Pluto. The club that you started, the Auckland KV... Care. Care. Yeah. So how did that all begin? We just noticed that as we got more into, like, helping people adopt out their guinea pigs, that there was quite a lot of guinea pigs that needed to find new homes. Mm. And so we started offering our help to rehoming them, because what normally happens is the owners, when they can't look after them, they can't go through the proper process of finding a good home, so the guinea pigs end up for free, where they can be used. Like, we've had horror stories of dog bait and all that, so we want to do it where we can help them find them the best homes. Talk us through your first rescue. Our first one was a little merino baby girl called Sally. When we went to pick her up, she was living in a tiny wooden bird cage outside and it was completely damp and just covered in her poo. And we got her home into the vet and she was covered in fungal on her nose and her ears and she had mites, which is a little parasite. So we got her better, which took a couple months and then we found her a new home, which was really great. Well, I reckon we should go and meet some of the other ones. Yeah. yeah. This is the rescue room where they're all kept. This is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now, they all look like they're in different compartments. Yeah. Yeah, how does all of that work? Because um, they're quite... Not all of them get along, so you can't just put two together and expect them to be happy. Yeah. They can be quite nasty if they don't like each other. <laughs> like, you talked earlier about personalities. Yeah. So this is all part of it, trying to figure out who, who can... Matches. Who can flat with someone. Yeah. Not at all here to put your totoko. So where does the money come from to fund all of this? Uh, we have a give a little page, which we've set up, and the rest is from my mum. <laughs> Part of what we do at the guinea pig rescue is um, we do a lot of washing. We do up to 80 kilos of washing every week. Um, towels, uh, fleeces, um, tunnels for them. Uh, other things that we would get out are things like snuggle sacks, which um, Hartley makes herself and sells for fundraising for the rescue. Hartley is quite a good photographer, so she takes photographs through the year, and at the end of the year we compile it, and she makes a, a calendar of some of her favourite um, rescue pigs from the year, and uh, we sell that to raise funds for the guinea pig rescue. Also, Hartley is currently studying for a certificate in animal care at Unitech. And all going well, she plans to do a diploma in vet nursing. The medical skills will also be very handy in keeping costs down. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty about how we actually look after these guys. Now, okay. de-sexing is probably a good thing. Yeah, we always say to de-sex because there's the health reasons. Once they get older, they can get a lot of reproduction problems and it's just easier to cut most of them out with de-sexing. Yeah. How hard are they, Kai? So what sort of food? I know you're holding on Yeah, some. we've what got this. So capsicum, cucumber, carrots, coriander, apple, celery, silver beet, just lots of veggies are their favourite, and fancy lettuce. Mate, that looks better than my lunch, <laughs> honestly. Let the feasting begin. <laughs> so how long do they actually live? We say an average five to eight years. We've got one that we adopted out who's 11 now, so they can live quite a while if they don't get sick. Wow. So do they require much care outside of the feeding? Do you um, need to spend a lot of time with them? The cuddles, we can come more for the people because they can live happily without cuddles. <laughs> and then it's mostly just cleaning up after them because they poo quite a bit. We tell people to poop sweep twice daily, and then we use towels, so the pee goes to the towels, and then it's just a full cage clean. You check it in the wash once a week as long as they've got food and a clean cage. They're happy. Wicked. 
Hartley Ngamahiki Aakui, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. And you do an amazing job. And we just appreciate, yeah, the time that you've given us. Ngamahiki Aakui. Thank you.